friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a newer lipstick release this one's from the drugstore this is the color fetish mattes nudes collection from Milani cosmetics this line currently has six shades but it has been so popular I would not be surprised if we end up seeing more colors added to this line these lipsticks are priced at $8.99 a piece. They're currently available from Ulta. You can also find them at Walgreens and on the Milani website. I purchased all six shades in this line from Ulta Beauty. Right now, a bunch of them are sold out there. I'm gonna search around online and see if I can find any more of these colors in stock anywhere for you. So make sure you check the description box. I will do my best to find as many of these available online for you as I can. First things first, let's take a close-up look at the packaging on these lipsticks. The packaging color is different for each of the six shades. I really like that. I think that makes this product very user friendly, especially if you own more than one. But it also it gives them a more special, more luxurious look. Now these are plastic and they have this really unique sort of honeycomb texture on the outside with the gold band around the middle that says Milani. And then the shade name is on a little sticker on the bottom. Now these don't have a magnet or anything. These are just your typical bullet lipstick that clicks into place and then twists up. There's no special printing or anything on the bullet itself, which is fine. I mean, this is a drugstore lip product, so I think just the special packaging alone is enough to make this feel more luxurious than average. Let's read the product claims that are listed on the Ulta site. First of all, I love reading product descriptions. They are typically just so funny to me. They have such a weird, corny advertising vibe to them that I just, I just enjoy. I enjoy the kitsch of it all. Plus, as we go through these different claims, I can let you know if I agree with them or not. Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick, The Nudes Collection is an ultra creamy velvet matte lipstick in a curated range of nudes designed to flatter an array of skin tones. Okay, that actually was not corny at all. Kind of sad. I miss the cheese, you know? This claims to have the perfect nude lipstick for every skin tone. I can't speak to that because I don't work on anybody else's skin tone but mine. Does seem to be a pretty decent range though. A luxurious soft velvet matte finish. Agree. Smooth, ultra creamy lipstick glides seamlessly onto lips. I would agree with that too. This does have a nice smooth application. You know, sometimes with really, really matte bullet lipsticks, it feels like it's kind of skipping or pulling across your lip because it's so matte and so dry. These do not have that at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and agree with this. Full coverage lipstick with one stroke payoff. Kind of agree. These aren't quite as pigmented as the Lady Bold lipsticks that I just reviewed from Too Faced not too long ago. Those really are one swipe. These are not far behind. By no means am I saying these are not pigmented, but it's not quite to that level. So I think one swipe might be a little bit of an exaggeration. It says these are enhanced with hyaluronic acid to nourish lips. Love that. I have very dry skin and dry lips, so anytime I see hyaluronic acid, I am excited for that. These are made in Italy, they're cruelty free and vegan. So this is a safe one for all my vegan friends out there, I'm happy to report. Now that you have all the product info, let's take a look at the lip swatches of the six shades in this line and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end.
Now that you've seen all these shades swatched on my lips, I do want to show you a comprehensive swatch on my arm here. That way you can really see these shades side by side. That's more helpful for me to compare them and see any similarities and differences versus just seeing the individual lip swatches. So hopefully this is helpful to you as well. I think it's only fitting that we do a little kiss test with this. It's my very non-scientific method to see how transfer proof lipsticks are. So we are just going to try it out. I have nothing on the back of my hand here. I'm just going to lay a good smooch on there. Got a little bit of transfer. My lips still look pretty good though. I'd say that's about what I expect from a matte lipstick. So pretty impressed with the lasting power of these. I will say after a couple hours wear, it does feel a little bit too dry for me. I have dry skin and dry lips. So it's a pretty common issue for me. I do find myself needing to do a little lip balm, a little nourishing treatment before I'm gonna wear these all day. I don't have much issue with that when I'm touching up because these aren't completely transfer proof. They do need to be touched up and reapplied throughout the day, especially as you're eating and drinking, things like that. So I may just do a little dab of lip balm before I reapply and that does help to mitigate the dryness on my lips. I have been a fan of Milani lipsticks for many many years. Say like five six years ago when I first started making YouTube videos the Milani matte lipsticks were the epitome of what people loved from the drugstore and I really see them carrying that torch into 2021 with this release. They've really stepped up with some beautiful luxurious packaging. At a glance you could easily think that this was a cute little designer lipstick just slipping into your bag. The performance is lovely. I think the shade range is a good start. I hope that they expand this line because I do see this being really successful and really well loved type of product. I don't often enjoy a matte lip and I enjoy these so I think that that's high praise. If you're looking for a good affordable lipstick that feels special and performs well, this is definitely going to be a great option for you. All the shades are nice. Personally, my favorite is this one. It's the shade Passion and this is just right in that nice middle spot where I think this is the type of shade that's going to look great on a wide variety of skin tones. If you're even paler than I am, then this will be a really lovely kind of vampy fall shade. For me, it's just that mid-tone warm rosy nude that I love. That's the lip color space that I like to live in. And for somebody with more of a medium deeper skin tone, this could be more like a true nude. So this is the do it all type of shade that I really like and I really like to recommend. But honestly, I think any of these are going to be a good option. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about these lipsticks. Are you interested? Have you tried these? Are your favorite shades perpetually sold out? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts, all your favorite drugstore lipsticks, anything you think down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! That's alright, take all the time you need. It's fine. Not like you're on a filming schedule or anything. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Change ha ha Nailed it. <laughs> eh, I, eh. Settle down now. Simmer down now. I'm going to list. I, I having like a Ross moment. Okay. All right. Focus. Lip swatching time. You can do this. <laughs> mm. So many people are going to be like, this isn't a nude. I have it half on my upper lip and you almost can't tell. This is almost exactly the same color as my lips. So many people like to say, oh, pink isn't nude, brown isn't nude, whatever isn't nude. This is probably the closest to my natural lip color of all of them. And yes, it is pink. Nude's just different for everybody. This one's my favorite. This is so pretty. La pasión. I'm a child. Yay, I did it. I did it. I swatched them all. Hurrah. Okay, this highlighter glowy cheek situation is really working for me. Casually sweaty in the best possible way. 
Every once in a while I get some kind of mean comments about it or just not mean but not nice comments about it. It's fine. If you don't want to be casually sweaty, you don't have to be. This is just what I like. I know what I look like. I know I did this on purpose. I like it. I think it looks cute on me. I like the way it looks. You don't have to look like me and I don't have to look like you. Isn't the world a wonderful place where we can all just individually express ourselves? I love that for us. I'm gonna be casually sweaty. You be whatever you want to be. Oh boy, I've really been putting editing Amanda to the test lately, haven't I? Should pay her more. <laughs> it's me. I've long time, lo I, lo that was not even gonna be a real sentence. Ooh, mama. I love these little butterfly earrings. They're so joyful. I always list what I'm wearing in the, what's that called? In the description box. So my nail polish, what other makeup I have on, my earrings, all that stuff. You can always find that info in the description box. A lot of people ask, I promise, I'm pretty good at putting stuff in there for you. Not perfect. I'm not perfect but I'm pretty good at it. I'm so glad that you came to watch this video and I'm happy to see your beautiful face here because I love it. And if you are not having a great day, just know that it's probably gonna get better. And you know, we're, we're here for you. Every single person here loves your face so much because you're special, wonderful, and we like you. Okay, so uh, I love your face, I'll see you soon, okay, bye.